everyone, my name is Helene and I'm back today with the second part of my gigantic summer book haul. Now before I get started, I do want to mention that I obviously plan on reading all of these books. I did go a little bit crazy this summer, but I would like to devote the next year to reading all of my unread books and just relax and enjoy them. So in case you're wondering, yes, I am going to read all of them at some point. However, today's video is about all of the books that are not classic. That's the only way I can categorize them. So here we go. The first two books are by the same author whom I really like. He's very interesting and he writes some peculiar books, but also highly interesting and entertaining. And that is John Irving. I got The World According to Garp and A Prayer for Owen Meany. Now, if we start with this one, this is the one I don't know too much about because the synopsis doesn't give a lot away, but it was part of the BBC Top 100 books list and therefore I got it. And also I really like John Irving, so that's why I got a physical copy. I do know that the last sentence of this book is going to be quite famous. In the world, according to Garp, we are all terminal cases. However, I do know more about this one, A Prayer for Owen Meany. This one sounds super exciting. It is about a boy who plays baseball. However, one day he kills his best friend mother because of a ball that he throws or I don't know. But that's obviously very unfortunate. However, Owen Meany believes that his actions are controlled by God. So he doesn't believe that he is to blame and obviously that creates quite a lot of problems. So I'm super excited to get started on this one. Next is Atonement by Ian McEwan. I have already watched the movie and I love it. So I wanted to read the book and I saw it in the bookstore. So I got it. This is about some teenagers who live together in a house during the summer and then things start happening. It is quite mysterious but also entertaining and funny and interesting. All of these words. Then I got my very first book by Terry Pratchett and that is God's Gods. I saw this at my sister's house because her husband wanted to get rid of this book. Don't ask me why. So I grabbed it and here we have it. This is part of the BBC Top 100 list, so it was perfect. And I obviously want to read at least one book by Terry Pratchett in my life, so this is going to be the one. I have no idea what this is about, but I believe it's about some gods. Next, we have a very interesting book that just came out, and I saw this first on NetGalley. I requested to receive a review copy and I was declined, so that happens. But then I saw the physical copy in store and I got it. And that is Among the 10,000 Things by Julia Pierpont. Pierpont. Yeah. It is played by Jonathan Safran Foa. It is basically about an American family and their life. And I don't know, I just have a thing about these kinds of books that deal with everyday problems and everyday life and especially everyday life in America. I have a weakness for that. So when I saw the synopsis for this one, I had to get it. I've never read anything by this author. I've never seen this book around on booktube, but here we have it. Maybe this is the first time you see it and that will make me very happy. Now I just hope I'm going to like the book. The next two books are books that I've already showed on my channel. First we have Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee. I did a full video review of this book, so I will put that in the doobly doo down below. And yeah, next is A Little Life by Hanya Yanakihara. Now, you probably know if you follow my channel that I love this book, but the copy I had back when I read it was a library copy. So I had to get my own one and here we have it and I'm in love with it. Seriously, read this book. It will blow your mind away. Okay, next book is The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. I've heard about this book through my parents. I believe both of them have read it and they own it, but then I saw it in store and I decided to get my own copy. They say it's brilliant and I believe them. I don't know what it's about other than it's about different time periods, 1913, 1975 and 2005. So maybe we get a story about some generations or the same characters who develop, I don't know. 
but here we have it. The next two books are by the same author and that is Toni Morrison. I've never read anything by her, but I've heard a great deal about her. First we have The Bluest Eye, which I heard about at university. A friend of mine told me that this was her favorite book and I had to read it. So I finally got it. And the next one is Beloved in this same beautiful kind of cover. This is the vintage editions. And I know this is about racism, but this one I don't know, so we will have to wait and see. Love Letters of Great Men and Women Inspired by Sex and the City. This is a book with all of the great love letters through time. I do believe we have some love letters from Napoleon, William Blake, I don't know. but. I am single and sometimes I just need some love in my life, so I got this book. I just wish that it didn't have this sticker because I know that if I try to take it off, it will tear off the cover and I don't want that, so I will have to live with that. Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. Now this one I've heard quite a bit about through different booktubers. I think one of them is Ashley from Climb the Stacks and I will put her channel down below if you want to check her out. Basically, this is about a man or a woman, I have forgotten, but this person has died and we know that from the very beginning. So this book is a glimpse through his or her life. We read some letters of this person. I don't know, actually, but it's supposed to be really moving and really, really good. So I obviously wanted to read it. Then we have Redeployment by Phil Clay, which is about the war in Iraq and obviously that's going to be super interesting to read about. I think it's kind of personal takes on this war. It's written by soldiers or I don't know if it's fiction or if it's non-fiction actually but it's about this war and I would really like to know what it's like to be in a war. Not that I will know that from reading a book but just to gain some knowledge on the subject would be nice and so I got this book. It also is a national book award winner and it has so many blurbs on it so I sh I'm sure it's going to be good. Then I have a book that I saw on Mercedes channel because a lot of the books that I buy I buy based on her recommendations and that is Bastard Out of Carolina by Dorothy Allison. This is supposed to be heartbreaking and very brutal. It's about a girl who goes through some horrible things in life. And I'm asking myself, why do I buy these books? I do it because even though they make me feel so sad and heartbroken, they also teach me things and it teaches me empathy. So I decided to get it. It's supposed to be one of Mercedes' favorite books. So I obviously had to get it. And the last six books I have to show you are all by Robin Hart because I have become quite addicted to her books. In my last book haul I showed you this book which is the first book in the Rain Wild Chronicles series, The Dragon Keeper, and I've already read it and loved it so I had to get the rest of the books in this series. And they look like this. There are four books in total. We have Dragon Heaven, book two. Then we have City of Dragons book 3 and Blood of Dragons book 4. I've already read books 2 and 3 so I will mention that in my July wrap up part 2 and this one is definitely a book I will look forward to. It is about some dragons who need to be transported from one place to another but it's so much more than that. It's also about different characters and their perspectives and it's just such a great fantasy series because it's understandable. Even I can read it and enjoy it, so I like that about Robin Hobb's books. And the last three books is another series by Robin Hobb, which actually is supposed to be read before the Dragon Keeper series, or the Rain Wild Chronicle series, that's what it's called. But I'm going to read this afterwards, just because I don't think it will ruin the story for me. And that is the Live Ship Trader series, which consists of three books, but they are humongous. I think they're about 900 pages each, and that just makes me super excited. So we have the first book, Ship of Magic. Then we have, they are so big, I almost cannot carry them. Then we have The Mad Ship, book two, and Ship of Destiny, book three. 
and I'm obviously, obviously so excited to read them, especially during the fall because that's when I'm the most in the mood for fantasy. That is it for my gigantic summer book haul. As I said in the beginning, I now want to devote my next year or so on actually reading these books because I've been in a weird mood lately. I've not been wanting to read as much as I usually do and yeah, so I think that will affect my book buying habits and reading habits. But who knows, maybe I will dive back into all of the books when I go back to work, which is so typical. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. Have a great day everyone and happy reading. Bye bye.